I'm killing you! If you reach, I'm shooting you in the face! What was it all about, son? You gonna play dumb now? Get in the car. There was ever, ever, a defender. It's just past 7 a.m. in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where one suspected car thief's wild high-speed chase is coming to an end. The man seen here allegedly rammed into a patrol car along with multiple other vehicles after officers responded to reports of a stolen car. One officer describes what happened. As soon as I get behind him, I see him right there and I and that flip and he looks right at me. Just, <laughs> takes off. So I was like, yeah, we're going to be breaking off. And so we got to Avenida. Was like, okay. Yeah, I was behind him on Avenida and then I saw him turn on Wyatt, so I hit my lights off. And then I just see him on Wyatt, so I'm keeping an eye. And I see, I see him turning on top of sail. I see him flip a, uh, a van. I'm like, no, we can't fucking just let this guy keep going. Police follow the driver to a nearby road. Another officer shares what happened there. Because he, he hit those cars on his own. Like, he took, couldn't take corner, I guess, because he rolls up on him in between two cars that were parked. So he pulls up behind him. And then I just happen to see his unit, so I pull up and he's. Boom, right in the Wands unit. So I get out and he has the dog and I'm like, uh, I was just waiting for him to come towards the catch the tip of the Wands unit. And then he bolted. So that's when I had my unit, but I had this because I was trying to key up where we were at. Police identify the suspect as 31-year-old Coti Jimenez, who appears to have a reputation in the area. There was ever, ever, an IP defender. I'm just pissed, man, because it's Cody Jimenez. We deal with this motherfucker all the time. Oh, it's Cody Jimenez. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was. Cody. <laughs> he threw his hair out. I didn't recognize him. We're wasting cars on this punk motherfucker. That was Cody Jimenez. It was another mistake of this town, but they're just gonna let out again. Doing his dumb. Back with the suspect, identified as Cody Jimenez, officers search his pockets, uncovering what appears to be a bandana wrapped around a lock and two pipes. Anything in your pocket is going to both prickly or sticky. What the hell's wrong with you? I see, I didn't know what you guys were saying. Don't play stupid with me. What did I do? I didn't do nothing at first. Until I took off. Right? Get in the damn car. Moments later, one officer discovers he was injured during that search. You're bleeding, Sarge. Huh? You're bleeding. It's not me. No. Are you sure? sure? Oh, yeah, you picked yourself a little bit there. Oh, God damn, it's on his pipe. I'm pocket for his While officers assess their damages, EMTs arrive to check out our suspect. I'm just going to check you out real quick. Let's go, man. You hurt anywhere, really? No? You need medical attention? Yeah, you gonna be all right? Sounds good, man. All right, brother. Nowhere? Arms, legs, everything feeling good? All right, man. Sounds good. 
Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Yes, sir. All right, engine. Uh, squat two. Two. Yes, squat sir. two. Gotcha. Nothing in your shoes, bro? Yeah, this is gel idea. It's on the car, on the white car, bro. Check this out. Yeah. Good? Right. Gotta take care of the station, hang out a little bit, right? While police get Cody on his way to jail, let's head over to one driver whose van was hitting the incident. So were you headed this way, sir? Yes, I was headed this way. Okay, and what way was the other guy going? Okay, so I was headed this way. I was on my way to work, and I seen it was like a white SUV or something like that. He was coming pretty fast. That's what from caught this my, right here? Yeah, from this way. Okay. From my, uh, he was coming pretty fast, and that's what caught my attention. So he, there was another car right there where that one's at. So he got in the left, right-hand lane, and he made a left-hand turn. And when I see what he was doing, I showed to my right, and then he hit me. He went around my we, left. Were you in this lane, this lane here, or went further that way? Huh? He, 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 were you in this lane? I was in this lane, okay. he hit me. All right. And then next thing I know, he went around this way, and two officers followed him. Then there was a third one that was. Okay. Cool. And then I just pulled yeah. over, and I was calling 911, but I, I couldn't get a hold of nah, you guys. You're, you're so, okay. We uh, heard it on the radio. All right. Yeah. Here's this. Let me hold on to this real quick. I'll be right back with you, okay? On a different street, one man discovers that both of his vehicles were hit by the reckless driver, too. How you doing, sir? Yeah. Is this your van? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, it, it was hit during the course of a, a police pursuit. So there's somebody fleeing the police, and he ended up striking your vehicle. Let's see right there. There's a Tahoe. And there's oh, word. Uh, if I send you a link to your cell phone, would you be able to upload that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'll do that here after I'm done, okay? Um, <clears throat> do you have, I, I guess, the registration and insurance to it? or mm -hmm. Do you have the registration and insurance to it? Any? Yeah. yeah. Could I get that? Sure. Moments later, another neighbor tells police what he saw. So did you kind of see what took place? Yes. or? Okay. So what I happened? Video. Okay. I, I see everything and I had video. What did you see? When the truck started coming, so I, I hear... I hear the like tire spin, uh -huh. and then I look it out, and fuck, the, the car, the white car, is going to hit the truck. Okay. So hit the truck, the police going back to him, but the guy started moving back and forth, back and forth. And he, he got okay. Him. How about how fast was he going when he made this turn? Would you say? Fast, like maybe 35, 40. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like 35, 40. All right. And. What else? I see. What happens after he hits the van? Well, he started like try to to move in. Uh -huh. the second cop show up. The second cop show up and got it back. And then the front officer uh, he catching the dog, mm -hmm. but he never go know the boat go. You know, uh -huh. he can have an arm or something. So okay, maybe they're scared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they scared everybody. <laughs> Did you see if he uh, hit any of the units in the process you of know this? What? I think he hit it up from one. Okay. The front one because he started like uh, doing back and forth mm -hmm. because the first officer coming right behind to him like uh, tried to box him. Uh -huh. Yeah. So okay. I'm pretty sure he hit it. And he hit the 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 other truck too, the blue one. Oh, did he? Pick up? Yes. Okay. It's right there in the bumper. Oh, he hit because the bumper. I, yeah, because I see the truck moving. I I'm be right here like I go to work and uh oh I see everything. Then the owner of that van gets some more bad news. Um, I guess he said that it also struck the Silverado. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I see moving the Oh, is it that dent? Yeah. 
Oh, really? I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Back with our suspect, police make a pit stop at the hospital to ensure Cody was uninjured in the multi crash incident. Hi, buddy. You walking all right? You lift these yeah. up a little bit? Better? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once inside, the officer shares some advice with Cody. We gotta quit this, dude. You know that. Okay. This isn't your first rodeo. Thus, I wonder that. Oh, you're hanging out with or hooked up on dope with. So this is what's end up back in jail every single time. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> if um, they ask you if you took anything, just be honest with them. We're not, we're not looking to charge you for anything on the, that side of it, dude. We just, just so in case you like overdose or something happens to your body, man, that we can't explain, we'd like to know what, what you put in your body, okay? Even if it was just freaking over the counter stuff. But having you, dude, I know your history. You're just, just freaking be honest. If you took something last night, this morning, Whenever, just, just tell the doctors in case something happens to you, they can help you out, okay? The suspect is later cleared by hospital staff and sent on his way to jail. Cody Jimenez was charged with aggravated fleeing of a law enforcement officer, possession of a stolen vehicle, and aggravated assault on a peace officer. He later pled guilty to all three charges.